On the Super Auto Pets Discord channel, there is a weekly pack submission channel and basically people just throw in whatever packs they come up with, whatever crazy ideas that come to mind. So I thought it'd be fun to go through some of them. You know they're going to make packs way better than I could ever figure out. So let's see what the Super Auto Pets Discord has in store. We've got a transform pack today. It's a ton of fun. I'll drop the link in the description if any of y'all want to check it out. But hope you enjoy. Let's jump right in. Alright, so we're playing a little custom pack, but the trick here is these are not packs that I've come up with. Alright, so if y'all didn't know, Super Auto Pets Discord will be linked below. It has some incredibly intelligent people on there, and one of the, one of the sub channels, I guess you would call it, is de dedicated to people coming up with crazy, fun, new, different style, you know, packs different themed weekly submissions and we're gonna try out a few of them we're gonna see how they pair up against actual custom packs and they've all got a cool little theme to them so it should be a lot of fun even even if some of them aren't the greatest pack ever but I think there there's gonna be a lot better packs than I could ever come up with we'll put it that way so might as well address the pack we're currently running here so basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a pack that has a whole bunch of self scalers, right? So in this case, you're trying to get the early game homies that will buff themselves. But we've got like cassowary, we've got the the puppy giving some lasagna, all that stuff. Emperor Tamarin also kind of works there. And the idea is that you can con peito a level three high statted low tier minion minion <laughs> i'm on league mindset um low low tier pet into a higher tier one once you hit turn 11. so that's the basic premise we're gonna see how well we can actually accomplish this it'd be a lot of fun spider me um i think stork is pretty important here Maybe even worth ditching Cuddle Toad here, even though we haven't really gotten him cooking quite yet. Okay. And we draw. We'll take it. One badge man, agree to draw. Alright, so the only one we're actually not gonna pill here is either the bar guest or the puppy let's throw it on the puppy i think keep the sleeping pill alive all right just kidding what do we get tier three anything good wyvern, wyvern? is that what they're called i had this discussion a bit ago on whether it's a wyvern or a wyvern i think it's actually technically a wyvern do we go crow on the stoat, potentially? Honestly, yeah, dude, let's try it. What do you got for us? Whole bunch of tier fours. Um, let's see. Caterpillar is interesting. I didn't consider doing a caterpillar. See, this is the beauty of this kind of thing, right? I hadn't even thought of the possibility of doing caterpillar and then using like water of youth and whatnot. But here we are. Seems like a great idea. Uh, okay, so we don't need pill. Water of youth will be further down the line here. Oh, they've got some homies though. <laughs> they've got some homies all right. Really just brain cramp. Brain cramp kind of OP a little bit. Get another oven mitts queued up. Yeah, so this is going to be the challenging part, is getting it, the early scaling going. Um, I think we can rock a fig on you. Um, anything good here? Yeah, I was going to say level up would be very nice. Let's not. No, we probably should. 
can go here. I think Eagle is very important right now. Just in terms of like staying alive. Okay, we're good. We're gonna survive this one at the very least. We're still on two hearts, which isn't too bad. Anything good? Another eagle? Tell you what, what if we do this? Um, so we can't alpaca and eagle, unfortunately. I would love to get an e or a pill on our blobfish though, if we could make that one happen. I'm down to roll for it too. Beautiful. We could also wait. Maybe that's the play. Wait for a tier six. That's kind of a, a besides the point though, isn't it? Isn't the point that we're getting that we're like leveling into guys? Let's go turkey here. Turkey's good at least with our eagle. Likely with other guys too. The real be beauty of it is when you can get the... Oh wait, hold on. Mm, not quite. The real beauty of it is you keep the stats and the level and just increase the tier. So it's pretty solid, all things considered. Okay, throw it on you. I think it's time to ditch the wyvern. Maybe go some additional summons with the turkey? I'm not sure. Okay, let's do this. If we survive, we'll have some more oven mitts cooking up. And then let's get some food. We might as well run it like this, right? In the next shop tier, what do we have on tier six? We don't have any summons, so yeah, I think we're fine up front here. As soon as I move him, the very instant I move him, we get the peanuts on the scorpion. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. So we need to focus more on early scaling and then let the, the Conpetos and whatnot kind of pull us forward. I think we were too, too in on the Wyvern play. Let's try some more early scaling. Okay, pig, chinchilla, number two chinchilla. <laughs> Uninspired dug boats. The heck does that even mean? All right, that's fine. We're not too worried about this one. Sure. Go like this. Maybe combine chinchillas and have a three stack chipmunk is better. Not a problem. Okay. Get a good level here. Happy Bara is interesting. Get a, a guinea pig going here. Very interesting. Lucky Cat. We don't have gingerbread. Lucky Cat feels a little whatever, but... Honestly, just for the stats, I think it might be worth it. And yeah, I mean, we're looking good. Capybara was a nice save. I think that'll be very nice to have. Um, I think we'll probably go Fig on the Chipmunk, all things considered. We could also Rice for like a little bit of extra something, but probably not. Tell you what, get rid of you. Bring in a lucky cat. A stoat, maybe.
Anteater, you can pill and get the level 3 part of it, but it's a 1-1 one, one tier 1. That is not too good. We can keep him around, though. That's not bad. Okay, looking good. The stats are solid, we just gotta look for some sort of cohesive something or another to bring it together. And then I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. Let's just ignore the stoat here for a second. At least until we get the chipmunk figured out. What does the wombat do? Copy faint from enemy? Ooh, okay. I'm honestly a, a huge hater <laughs> on those kind of pets. Where you rely on your enemy having something. Like, okay, what if they don't? Now it's just useless? Yeah, pretty much. Unlucky ant hit there, but whatever. You go cassowary with the strawberry. I mean, Lucky Cat's not doing anything for us, so seems like the natural play. There's our fig we were talking about getting. Okay. I don't think we have an issue getting through this guy. If we can stick at three hearts, I'll be happy. Level you. Alright, I think we go blue ringed here. Not yet though, hold on. Go here, sell you. Run it like this. Yeah, I like this. Because they only need one strawberry for these two to start scaling. So we'll scale them side by side here. A little unfortunate, but we should be fine. That rhino almost sauced us there for a second. I was a little worried. Okay, we go here. I don't think we're going like the full send anteater vibe. I definitely am going to full send the stork though. Don't have two second thoughts about it. Waffle's good. Alright, so we got the self-scaling. That was our focus. We wanted to get early self-scaling and heck, here it is. <laughs> we found it. Now let's see if it actually pans out like we were hoping. Okay, we go here. We go here. Beautiful. Warthog, German Shepherd. I don't think we need them, to be honest. I think we just cook with what we got here, try to find some more bros, call it a day. He just had like everybody on his team faint <laughs> all at the same time. I don't think that's a good way to do it, but he drew so who am I to say? Okay, more cassowaries would be huge. More bros is always huge. Just keep cooking the bros, I guess. Ooh, big snipes. Love to see that. And we're good. Once again, figs OP. As always. Not news to anybody. Okay. And I think we can start throwing out some Conpetos whenever we see them. Starting with the Anteater, I would say. Oh yeah, dude, we're cooking. Look at these stats, by the way. Can we just appreciate? <laughs> Not even the transform part of the pack. The stats are wild. Alright, give me a level here. We're not gonna take these. We realistically, we probably could. We could ditch an anteater. Would that be worth it? 
Maybe. He'd be a 9-9. Nine, nine. No, that's a lot to overcome here. I'd rather transform into him. Play the pack like it's meant to be played, you know? On Peito? Not quite. Try again. <laughs> Next turn. We're slowly scaling him up. Holy. This guy's got some scaling. Speaking of. Not even chicken though, that's all T-Rex right there. Seemingly at least. Alright, well I'm a little underwhelmed by the lack of Kunpeitos. We finally got here and there's nothing. No Kunpeitos to be found. Yeah. I mean, this is the team you're gonna run into, naturally. It's a very easy team to make it work. Alright, any Conpetos out there would be pretty cool. You know, whenever. I don't even think we chocolate here. Get the bro. Conpeto me? No. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? I'm trying. Believe me, I'm trying to get this to work. It's just not, not cooking here. Well, rip the fly. Oh, we get gold. Huge. Alright, we're in it. We are so in it. We get six extra gold this turn. Unpay to me, please. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. There he is. Okay. We have two tier threes. Might as well use it on you, right? Eagle. Do it again. Eagle. <laughs> Seagull turns into an eagle. Let's roll a couple times here. And we'll go here. Alright. This eagle is going to win us the game. Just watch. This is going to be brilliant. Okay, was it the eagle? <laughs> Maybe not. But did it not go pretty well there? You know, there's something to be said. Bro, where are they hiding all the competos? It's kind of a bummer right here. Hold on to the waffles again. We haven't found more bros either. Kind of stalled out on the bro strat. Yeah, so, I mean, this is customs for you, right? <laughs> you can't be expected to beat these. But I feel like, okay, so, the strat is there. Evidently, the Competo strat gets pretty solid. We got a freaking huge eagle, right? What do we improve on there? Earlier Competos, I would say. I think the rest of it was pretty good. Maybe don't send the stork so much. The scaling on it, like maybe try to pill it and do something there. I don't know. Let's try one more. See if we can really pull off something crazy. But I'm liking this pack. I need to take notes on the scaling options mid game because I have such a hard time with that. Okay, run on something like this. Wishy-washy things. What the hell are you running? <laughs> what is that? Alright, we go here, we go here. That's not bad. This is like just a, a solid team here. Oh, just kidding. We lose. <laughs> He's got axe handles. Totally fine. Let's get some, some levels here. Early cassowary, don't mind if I do. Um, could run an anteater. I'm wondering if puppy's better though. Let's go anteater. I need to find strawberries for you. 
Um, you're technically four gold. Okay, next turn we'll get strawberry. Hmm. Not quite. You got the bunyip play. Any duplicates out there? <laughs> Anything at all, please? Would be very, very much appreciated. Alright, well that was horrible. We got literally nothing. Oh, and he gets an anteater, dude. Come on. Get real. Wild. Alright, let's get some puppies in here. Give me a jelly. Honestly, we probably run a stoat here, right? Ooh, level 2 stoat. Don't mind if I do. Go fig on the chipmunk, maybe. Seems like a good play. Alright, we're a little behind the power curve here, but I think we're going to come out ahead with this mantis. Go here, get rid of you. Not going to play it just yet. That's great. Because we have nothing for it to eat, so there's no reason to play it yet. Also, next turn, hopefully we get a mantis from the stoat. That would just be huge. Oh, fantastic snipe, by the way. Still not gonna matter, because camel garlic OP. Caterpillar. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. Okay, so we gotta get rid of two for the mantis. Keeping you. Probably keep you. I guess we ditch both of our fig homies. Which kinda hurts. I mean, we got the turkey buff, so it's not a huge issue. Try to balance this out a little bit. See, the beauty of the, the turkey in this play is Mantis kills him at the start of battle, right? So Turkey is just gonna, dude, come on, dude. We're, we're getting absolutely pranked out here. All right. But as I was saying, Turkey hits the, the guys that we summon, so they're still useful in battle. Even if they're not, you know, doing a whole lot. It's still some stats for him. Maybe we get rid of the turkey here. I think this is more important. Huge, huge. Yeah, I think if we can survive through here, we're in a good spot. And we're in a good spot. Okay. And then Caterpillar gets to three. Okay. I like where we're at here. We're at one heart, which is not ideal, but that aside, we're in a good spot. What do we got? Monkey, Drum, Panda, Hippo. Might as well grab one, right? Well, those aren't great. <laughs> okay, tell you what, ditch you, 
Throw you in as some fodder, I think. Which means we can buy sell you. You're gonna be fodder for the praying mantis, and we're just gonna throw in a behemoth out here. Just get the, some stats through you. Water of youth you when you get big. That's gonna be our play. And we have a giant homie, there's no shot we lose those. If they have one big homie, it's over. Alright, I think I'd rather go turtle. Immediately. And then we go... We could have doubled up on the turtle, but I kind of like this here. We'll get another turtle eventually. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, Competos are on the play, on the table. Are at play, on the table, is what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, that's looking good. I don't know why you're like, backwards. I guess that's why, question mark? Still a little weird. There's the Competo. See, do we want any of these? Not really. We can pay to the caterpillar. Tier three, tier five, level three. Let's try it. Let's throw you in the mix here. Eh, okay. I was hoping to get like a, an anteater there. But that's fine. We'll throw you in. There's really nobody to, to faint here, so. I think we do this. Yeah, I think this is fine. We're getting plus four, plus four on you. Perfect. Looking okay. We got three gold from you, which is kind of nice, I guess. Give you a pepper, so you're more useful. And let's find somebody that we actually want to pill. Or want to faint, I guess I should say. Hmm, maybe the weasel? We'll go Beluga Sturgeon. He sells for three. And we're gonna try to get this Mantis going up more. Looking good. A draw is a draw, we take it. That means we're alive. And we have 16 gold. Not too shabby. That we actually want to take out would be great. There's the cone peto. We can throw up on this praying mantis here. Um, let's see. It's kind of weird with the silver fox. We want the pepper on it, but I want turtle on you. <laughs> Hold on to you. Ooh, this is actually way better. Okay, run it like this. We don't need you anymore. You're gonna get leveled and then maybe we... We're probably not gonna come pay to you, let's be real. We already got the behemoth cooking. Okay. Let's see. How much do we get out of this? Oh, we're one-shotting people. <laughs> we be one-shotting out here. We're not gonna get any of these guys, unfortunately. That's a little unfortunate. We didn't get any gold from our silver fox. But I think it's still worth it to get it on you. And then... 
maybe we send the praying mantis here. Level two alpaca is kind of interesting. We go here, hold on to you guys. Switch you again. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so we set you up front. Man, I really hope we don't lose here, by the way. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. That would be much appreciated. Kind of rude. We take him out. That's fine, we'll take the draw. Okay. I feel like we need to Konpeto the Behemoth, but maybe we just leave the Behemoth to do its thing. Maybe the Stonefish? Get a good tier 6? It's a pretty strong unit though, you know? Like, who are we going for? Aside from that. Cobra, maybe? I'm down to try it. That's the point of the pack. Real is not bad. Okay, throw it on you. Let's start freezing big boys. That's three. And I kind of just like the silver fox here. Let's hold on to the Konpeto. Actually, give you popcorn. A little summon at the end. Um, and then if we still had the stonefish. We could have gotten level three, but <laughs> here we are. Little three three action here. That's unfortunate. And there's no way we lose this, right? You draw. I didn't think we were going to draw that either, I'll be honest. That was a little closer than expected. So we could get a level 3 50-50 here if we want. What if we say we don't need Konpeto anymore? And we just try to get some levels. You know? I feel like we made pretty good use of our homies here. We could throw it on Jelly though, I guess. Any good tier 3s? <laughs> I mean, not really, but... What else are we going to use our money on, I guess, is the question. Anything good here? Um, pretzel is not online. Let's go here. Maybe we should have gone paid of the jelly. I don't know. We're just getting so much scaling just from the shop right now, just at end of turn. Dude, how do they keep doing this to us? This is painful. Alright, we're good, we're good. We're hanging in there. Do we want Water of Youth on someone? Not really. I mean, this team is just great. This team is really good. Sure, we'll take a level. I think we can, we can try to get you. I'd still say it's worth it. We lost out on 1-1, one, one, but got him an extra experience. That is not bad. What do we got here? <laughs> oh baby. <laughs> Yeah, keeping Behemoth was definitely the play, without a doubt. Um, can we get the Ostrich? That's the question. Ooh, we can? Okay. Dude, we can get so much scaling here, potentially. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Raise them all. Freeze everything. So we get 7, 14, 14. That's basically maxed out. Alright, so we'll lead with Behemoth. 
kind of go in order, I think. We want to break through as many guys as possible up front. Maybe we might as well roll here for some foods, right? It's like, who are we going to... When Peito and Jelly is the only one I'd consider, really. I guess with the Ostrich, now we can swap them out. Okay. Dude, <laughs> this team is disgusting. <laughs> Oh, I guess our Silver Fox ended up biting us in the end, but yeah, I mean, if you don't have snipes, that team is just ruthless. Any sort of snipes, by the way, and that team is gone for, like, we would have won easy, but obviously we didn't have any. Hmm. Okay, well, all in all, this pack has been pretty fun. I would highly recommend. I'll drop a little import code in the description. Um, it's a pretty cool pack. I'd, I'd recommend checking it out. It's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you on the next one.